Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovelies. So today I will be using the Celestial Tarot guys and I'm really sorry for yesterday's long intro. Today I will be just giving you a 2 minutes um, intro about this deck and how I use it and what are the rituals that I perform before using this deck. Okay, so if you are using the Celestial Tarot, you can perform these uh, rituals or these things to kind of enhance the experience of the readings and the readings will be more accurate okay so as you can see here i have a bowl which is filled with rain water guys you can yesterday it was raining in my place so i kind of collected some rain water and if you uh, if you can collect a rain water you can collect because this uh, deck really works well okay and i have also added some salt and outside of it and i have like just kept it overnight under the moonlight okay and the celestial deck over here if you can see this deck was inspired from the greek mythology guys okay the, and the every deck has a story of its own like it has a story from the greek mythology most of the names can also be like what to say most of the names that are written on this deck are also like greek names so if you are familiar with the greek mythology and if you like uh, exploring more about it you can you can get this deck guys and also another thing about this deck is that you can connect deeply with the greek gods and with the greek goddesses if you uh, and yes guys just before starting the reading with this deck you can pray to the greek god and goddesses to kind of help you with the reading so that they can help you to kind of channel uh, channel the messages on your own and yes that is it about these cards guys and another thing about uh, this deck is that guys if you feel this deck is too powerful if you feel somewhat weird working with this deck then you can also like keep some crystals near you light a candle or like keep a bowl of salt near you or wear a salt pendant or if you do such things like if you keep the environment like that with crystals and salt and everything guys the energy will get absorbed into that and it won't affect too much so these are all of the tips that i have for you all now let us start the reading guys my lovelies hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovely capricorn so this is all uh, uh, this is a reading for you guys my lovely capricorn so i have just laid out the cards for you guys and then now i will be picking out three cards uh three i mean one for each question and i will be giving a reading for you all capricorn so the first question your energies for your general energies capricorn we have the high priestess that's amazing for your love energies capricorn and for your person's energies capricorn okay guys so what i'm getting here with these three cards so all i can see here with the high priestess with your general energies uh, Capricorn is that today you might be very um, excited about life and the high priestess is all about intuition so what I'm getting here with a high priestess is that today you're going to be very very intuitive and you're going to help a lot of people with your intuition like you're just going to be like if something is going to happen maybe you will guess it really soon is what I'm getting here like you will just know things you can be become a very psychic person or your psychic abilities may uh, enhanced today okay there's a lot of uh, the high priestess is all about intuition guys okay and definitely you're going to be like you're going to get involved with some psychic things and it is just going to enhance your psychic abilities today okay
so yes guys uh, and for your love energies i can see here that you just need to open up more to this person you have to learn to open up guys i can see here that you like this one this person you want this relationship all that is amazing but try to open up to this person try to i mean tell them everything about it and yes guys so this is all i can see here capricorn and you just need to come out and express yourself maybe you are not so into expressing yourself maybe you don't like want to express yourself or whatever it is but if you have to at least try to express yourself so that the people around you can understand you and this person can also understand you so try to express yourself or this can be the problem with your person they're not expressing their true feelings for you i mean like they're hiding their feelings for you is what i'm getting here capricorn this might be like you hiding your feelings okay the energies can be vice versa but i see here that a few people like stop hiding maybe if this person feels more comfortable with you they will stop hiding the feelings for you and when they be direct to you i think you this person and you will feel as a strong couple because right now you feel like a weak people you feel like this person always work with some of those opinions and your opinions don't matter to them you definitely have a lot of insecurities dealing with this person but yes guys you will come out of this energy soon okay so this is all i can see here guys my lovelies so yes so this is all i can see here for you guys and with um, i hope you understood the overall energy so try to not like always question this person always like kind of like don't question them always or don't make them feel bad always okay try to kind of stay happy try to be in your own energy and kind of like try to understand this person from a different perspective because that will make them feel much better is what i'm getting here guys okay so yes that is all i can see here for you guys my lovely aquarius so Yes bye guys I mean Capricorn bye guys see you all tomorrow Capricorn bye